Welcome to Chef Alley's Let's Get Cooking Kitchen. Real food for real people in real life. Let's get you cooking. Well, on this day before Thanksgiving, we're here with Chef Allie. Uh, yes. Where, where's the turkey at? We're not featuring turkey this today, This is a non-turkey dinner because okay. sometimes we get tired of turkey and ham and all that. Sometimes. And this is a great instant pot meal. Okay. Six minutes, which any good Italian will tell you there's no way that you can make risotto in an instant pot in six minutes. And the bar set pretty high because my favorite all-time recipe <laughs> from you is yes. a seafood risotto that yes. you made back in 2012. Right, that And I was still delicious. hold that to the highest yes. regard. So. And do you recall that we made that in a pan on a burner? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the rule was you can't add any more broth than the rice can absorb within a few minutes. Then you add a little more. You stir it, you add a little more, it takes forever. Okay. That's why a good Italian will say, ain't no way that's going to work. But you say it does. But it does. So you have five things. I already started your aromatics in your pot. We're okay. using it as a burner because it's a multi-cooker too, remember? So add your arborio rice to your onions, your butter, and your mushrooms. Okay. You have a spatula right there. Boy, I'm putting to work this morning. Stir that around. Then add your wine. Um, All of this? Uh, just add about half of that. Okay. Two there. That's about one cup. Okay. All right. Yeah, and it. then add your spices that are over there. Okay. Like this too. One one spoon of that. That's one roasted that. garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you Ooh, go. Yeah. Well, you can add two if you want. <laughs> what? Are, yeah. There you go. Okay. Good all enough. right. And then your um, old bay seasoning goes in. Okay. Okay. You stir that all up, and then lastly, you're going to add four cups of chicken broth. I'll pour this in while you while stir. While I stir. Okay. So that's the first part of the recipe. We'd bring that to a boil. Then we'd put our lid on, pressurize it on high for six minutes. That's all. That's all. Then. But there's no seafood in here. No. And I'm so glad you said that. Okay. That's right. Because we don't want to obliterate our seafood. Oh, all yeah. right. And that's what would happen. We also are adding cream cheese. Okay. okay. So if you put the cream cheese in first, in that part, mm -hmm. it's going to curdle. No bueno. And nobody's going to eat your, your risotto that okay. way. All so right? timing is everything in this, this it is. Instapot. So this is the one that I made ahead. And then this is the second part of the recipe. Our cream cheese goes in now, along with our fire roasted diced tomatoes. Okay. okay. And then lastly, our raw shrimp. Okay. Everybody says, now how can you do that? Well, it's because the contents of your pot are so hot right after you do the quick release and let all the steam out that anything you put in here is going to be fully cooked. Especially really something that's easy to cook quickly. a shrimp, right? Absolutely. Okay. So how do you know when it's fully cooked? They're I pink. know you know. They go from gray to pink. Okay. That's right. And so yes. you'll know right away the shrimp will be done in, in minutes, and yeah. then you'll just serve it up to your family and everybody will enjoy, right? So yeah, look, there is a shrimp already turned from gray to pink. There you go. Yeah, the contents are super hot. This is a great dish for the holidays, um, or if you just want to make your some your family some comfort food. We're about out of time. ChefAlley.com, get the recipe there. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too. Everybody coming to your house? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Bye.